Hey, what's up you guys? It's JCPenney. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Today we're going to be playing a game, well, it's clearly called Martha is Dead. It's been the number one game on my Steam wish list since like the middle of the pandemic, probably like I think like two, uh, 2021 or something like that. Um, I saw it on Steam and I liked that it was kind of photorealistic. I actually thought this was FMV before, which is why it was at my top. Then when I started reading the storyline and everything, I was like, oh, it's going to stay at my top. Um, just like recently it was found out that it had a little bit of like um, uncomfortable scenes in there that PlayStation actually or Sony actually censored for their um, consoles which is crazy but this is the PC version so you will be seeing that so if you are triggered by that please there's other videos on my channel check them out um, and subscribe if you haven't but yeah I didn't know this song was gonna play so I'm gonna allow it <laughs> Usually I kind of let a lot of copy written songs play because what's the game without the songs that go with it? I don't know if it is or isn't, but uh, yeah, but this game is um, based in Italy and the developers I, I put a lot of hard work into this. I cannot wait. I can't believe it's in my hands right now. Um, I've avoided all spoilers. I just know a bit about one, which is one of the scenes um, that was censored for Sony and it was surprising but i'm glad that this game got a lot of um got a lot of hits because of that let's start this thing let's start it the music is good the feeling the vibe i'm getting is kind of like oof scary <laughs> i'm very nervous i'm not gonna lie um, I'm very excited though. The story of Martha is Dead and its feature characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes, see, and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating as an adult narrative drama. The game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. Yes. Um, if this is triggering, like I said, I have other videos on my channel, maybe they might not be as great. They might still be triggering, but if you would like to check some out, just check out my channel. If you or someone you know is struggling, information and crisis resources are available at, and they give you the, uh, the link, which is safeinourworld.org, find help. So again, if this is triggering to you, I sincerely apologize. I do want to play this game, um, and I will, and if you guys aren't triggered by this, we can move forward, and I'm going to continue because it's been a minute. I've been waiting. Um, this game is already a week old. I've tried so hard to play it as soon as it came out and I just didn't get the chance so I am literally playing it a week from when it came out so it's long overdue for me uh and yeah let's just <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> I get way too excited off of games like this is my life oh my god look at those freckles look how nice this is it's so clean and I hope I put this in English yeah I did oh my gosh ciao I'm Julia, Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. Tell it. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929, when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Oh, and we're going back there, aren't we? Yep. The legend. Nanny? 1929. Nanny! No, little sparrow. <laughs> Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia. Pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. <laughs> I mean, yes. I miss Martha a little. 
but I love spending time with you. She doesn't miss her mom at all. Go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. <laughs> I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Ah, okay, to move the camera. I don't know what noise that was that came out of me. Legend, the lakes Ooh. of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. She was expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. This is going to be kind of scary, I bet. So much hope and desire that death, not love, was awaiting her. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. This is stark. <laughs> Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. How is this a bedtime story for a little kid again? <laughs> when fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking Whoa. for her long lost love. Yeah, no. Vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. I'm a little Ooh. scared of this story, even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading, my little sparrow? No, Nanny. Daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Why does she want to know about this? Okay, honey. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Wow. Uh, okay, sweet dreams. <laughs> wow, really? Didn't she slept soundly? Good night, Nanny. <laughs> Good night, my love. I guess. No, not not in my house. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories did not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. I'm just confused because it said the nanny. Is it her nanny or like her granny or like a, a literal nanny? I don't know, but let's let's just stop getting into that. <laughs> okay, interact with what? Look how pretty this is. Ah, the cam camera. 
Look at her nails, the detail. Reel off the film. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. Nice. Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe I'm finally playing this. Oh. Put the new film in. Close okay. the camera. Got it. Load the film. Take the picture. No? Okay. Activate the timer. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Where? This, these particles? Oh. Is that it? What is that? Is that the lady in white? What? Is that a person? I must help them. Someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. Did we take our- oh, to jump in the water. This music is so creepy. Oh my god. Is that us or is that are we Okay, I guess it's not. Who who is that? I don't know why I have such like I have goosebumps. It's this song. Ooh. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, <gasps> dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. Martha is think. dead. I have to stay calm. Wow. Oh. Martha is not dead. What are, what's happening? Oh. It's not possible. It's not true. There's no need to worry. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. Oh, 1944, so before. Not dead. It's not possible. Martha, February 26th, 1923. Yes, she is dead. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? Where's that at? What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run. Are those her parents? My parents ran to oh, okay. Me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, 
was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, oh. speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. Ooh. I didn't want the moment to fade, so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. <gasps> wow. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. This is what this game is about? This is interesting. <sighs> wow. Oh. Wow. Can I just say that this looks really pretty though? <laughs> it looks nice, but you know. Wow, look at this setting, guys. O oh Lord who gives life to the dying, let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O oh Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Wow. Remember to light the candles in the hall. People oh. will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. I'm guessing that's our dad, right? Space to highlight points of interest. Uh, we're gonna explore. Oh, I already see it. it I, I'm pointing at the screen, like you guys can see me point. Um, look at the detail, even on that, on the wood, the uh, wood right there. That is freaking awesome. They did such a good job. Um, I guess let's look around. It, look, he has like something. Was that blood? Or I think that's wine. Daddy must be devastated. He loves me. I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. I can at least light the candles and let him find some comfort in sleep. Oh, well, I didn't know our dad liked us better. This painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. That kind of sucks that the dad is like suffering like this. Uh, she should just tell him secretly. These hunting rifles are not daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Nanny? For what? Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Oh, so I guess we play piano, which I can't touch, but... <laughs> um, oh. Daddy, mummy, and my grandparents. It seems almost impossible that father is a soldier. Mother would have been more suitable if she wasn't a woman. <laughs> oh, she does not like her mom. What the heck is this? What is that? Is that a lighter? I think that's a lighter. Let me see. Oh, yep. Look, see? Cool. This is crazy, crazy good. light these up dad would you like a light no okay this is just so pretty how you doing martha you all right okay just checking can you come and get the flowers please or send martha if you like never a moment's peace <laughs> even at a time like this she can't sit still for a second Ooh. The moment I thought I saw Jeez. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. That actually scared me. I actually jumped. Okay, we can't see anything out that window. It's this telegraph. telegraph box. I know how to use it. Daddy taught me. Did the music just change? Cause it was just that's kind of weird. <laughs> Um, wait a minute, is that a swastika? I just realized. Okay, so this is this is 1944, so that would make a lot of sense. There's no reason to use the phone right now. Is someone coming to get these damn flowers? Is she over here? It sounded like she was something. Is that door? I'll I'll we'll get to her in a minute. I just want to see some more of the house. Painting. I find it so sad. 
It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. This. Telegrams? Yep. July 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. Monsignor Attilio D. Hmm. July 17th, 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think she's to go or she'll end up getting seriously angry. Oh, she can get angry, but I think she's like yelling at her dad, but um he's a very well-known general for him to have like so many telegrams regarding the death of, you know, Martha. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Oh. Any news and announcements can be vital. Ooh. I can change the station to what? Uh, that's kind of scary. I don't like that. Let's just go back to the other one. That that one is weird. <laughs> that That's like... I don't like it. It's so high-pitched. I can't change it! You know what? I think they're all like that. <laughs> they're all creepy. Um, I've got to hurry up and look around before... Our mother kills us. Um, is there anything else I can check around here? Ah. The only way people Martha. Could tell oh, it's us. Apart was by dressing differently. Even mother couldn't tell us apart. <gasps> it's us. Mummy and daddy. They are the epitome of wealth and elegance. But pain pays no heed to money and style. Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. Collect the flowers from mother before she gets angry oh okay now i have an alert now they're just like listen you have to hurry up <laughs> okay okay let's just see one more thing if i don't need that right now okay 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 um i'm actually gonna press space to see if we can oh what's this my dog's basket or should i say the new dog's basket i don't remember what happened to my first dog but when i think of him i feel despair despair is that like some traumatic like event that she refuses to remember? Oh, she's... Oh, come on. She could have easily opened the door or she could have just told me she was at the door or told, you know, Everything always my dad. Perfect with her. So where do I put these? What the heck is that? Oh, the, it's a radio. <laughs> My beard is blonde. Is that a coded message? Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. They doing that over the radio. Oh, I could, uh, you put it right there. Okay. I forgot I saw that flower there. So we place it. That's all she wanted me to do. What is that noise? What's happening? Yeah, what was that? Look at those, wow, look at that. Look at the fly like the flies around the uh the gnats around the light. It's freaking very detailed. Yeah, somebody closed the door. Erich, Erich, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to Ooh. sleep here? Of all places. What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. 
Oh, he's drunk. Um, I guess I what try to open it. What are you talking about? Oh. You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. Jeez. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? What the heck? Why does she I hate us so much? Just to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore. Can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. Uh... I don't know whether to feel sorry for the dad or s afraid of how he said that. Continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley. We have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. Oh, the about us? Damn, we're on the news. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, like I said, we are very important people if we're Mother on the uh, seem to suffer radio. From the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was Jeez. better for me too that people thought that. But the That's guilt dark. began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Why move to move? I don't know what to do. Martha, I don't know what I. Oh, Martha uh, has found has. Oops. Okay, I'm an idiot. Let's try this again. Martha has lost. That's what I was trying to go to. Uh, her. I I'd say so. I'm just. That's deeper than life. Am I right? I don't know. I guess so, right? Stole 
her life identity identity it's gotta be yep yep Oof. oh even the, the music is just like it's, what the it's actually very pretty but i mean cinematic what is going on I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen. Okay, but she wasn't bleeding, right? I don't remember her bleeding. Uh, this is a nightmare, though, so... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, oh my god! Okay, so... I... I know there's gonna be censored stuff in this game, or stuff that they censored. I have a bad feeling this is one of them, so if you're really like, I, I, you know, oh my gosh, okay, let's just do this. Yep, I, it's what I figured. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, it's crazy! Ah! Oh my god! What? What? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, we're still going! <gasps> Holy... No way! No way! I don't have to... No way, there's no way. Oh my god, really? That's what... That's crazy. <gasps> we're pulling off our sister's face! Wow! So disturbing. I mean, I can see it look like it's like we're seeing the way she does. Oh, oh man. Oh my gosh, that was pretty cool in a weird way. I mean, I can see why <laughs> it was censored, but at the same time, I've seen worse. I've seen much worse. I mean, that wasn't that bad to me, but that was kind of cool in a sick way. So it was just a dream, a horrible dream. That horrendous oh, woman wow. in the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. I mean, that was a creative way of saying we took her identity. <laughs> wow, if you guys have seen that so far, like in other playthroughs, because like I said, this is my first playthrough, so I had, I had no idea. But I knew there were going to be some bad scenes in here that were like getting everybody riled up. I mean, it wasn't it that serious but that was what do you think that was pretty pretty crazy um i guess we can oh just this is wow. martha and me at the <laughs> festival of the patron saint it was only a few months ago and now i can't get over that i i that's just the be this is just the beginning of the game martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame she wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? Martha has lost her face. Martha has lost her face. Like, literally. I don't know why I said it like that face, but <laughs> literally, she... Like, that is insane. But, um... Yeah, I guess. Wow. I, I don't even know what to say, but let's just get on with this game. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and Ooh. bright. Why would you have pictures of that in your room? How could you sleep like that? Um, I think there's so much. Wow, look at that. There's so much to explore. What's this? This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. It, let me guess, it's locked. Yeah, I, I, I figured it was locked. Um, what else can we do? What's... Ooh, there's just so much. <laughs> there's more of these scary pictures. Even more scary fairy tales. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, and? 
There's nothing on the desk. Uh, oh, what's this? Our beautiful home. In spite of everything, I prefer being here. Oh, I can open this? Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Oh, we can wear our own? Wouldn't that just be obvious if we... If we decide, like, to wear her, our own clothes? Like, maybe we should just keep up the lie? I don't know. Let's see what's over there and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> Martha, Martha's clothes, not all that great. <laughs> it's about half past nine. Half past nine in the morning, okay. It's July 18th. 1944. Wow. Oh, is this my side of the room? Yep, it is. Oops. Let's I see. always keep my trinket box locked. Well, so so does Martha because that's locked too. <laughs> Let me see. What's this? Here's the whole family together. Aww. A very rare thing indeed. And I know who's sitting by the mom. It's not not us. <laughs> what's in? Let's see. What's in our Can closet? Let's see. Without her clothes. Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. Why do we have the Martha's same clothes instead in the other wardrobe? Do we want to stir up our mother, our mother's, uh, <laughs> do we want to make her mad? Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. <laughs> let's piss her off. Ooh. Could I'm we change? Dressed. Oh, we can't take that back. All right, all right. It's me with the nanny. Well, maybe it was Martha. No one can remember. Me with the nanny. So, does she have a nanny and a granny that she calls a nanny? Because I, I am so confused with that. Uh, let's see what else. Ah. Oh gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. I guess that's her guy or somebody she's seeing. Look at that. Look how nice it is. We That is so pretty. Um, is there anything else? Okay, there's the more. butterfly collection that daddy made for me. Oh... Yeah, if you remember when he was talking to her, one, one, her body, supposedly her body, um, our body, he was mentioning about taking pictures of butterflies with her, but now he can't. So obviously they did that. Me soon. Okay, so there's a nanny and there's a nanny. Like a na nanny here, nanny there. I get it. Okay. Be, be a little more specific, Julia. Everything I need is always in my bag. Uh, press B to open the bag. You have opened Julia's bag. Here you can find objects that Julia always carries with her along with any picked up during the game. Got it. Objects are listed at the bottom left. Select an object to use or analyze. Now try selecting the key or the map. The key to my trinket box. Let's look at the map. I guess we're at this red spot here. Whoa, if we're at that red spot... <gasps> How long is this game? Look at the map. Oh, I cannot wait to, ex to explore. Like, do we go in this area? Only time will tell. So that's pretty cool. Um, I must put one of my photos in this empty frame. I will say, okay, so these are our ob objectives. So we need a camera for that. That frame is cursed. It looked really scary. Um, oh yeah, let me get the trinket. There we go. The key for the trinket box. I wonder if that one opens our sister's box too. Here is my diary. Oh. Well, okay. July 12th, 1944. Oh, nice. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. 
I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Wow. The mom just hates us. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Okay, why the scary music? And, I don't know, by that diary entry, it, it almost implied, like, we're kind of cuckoo. Like, like something wasn't right. Like, then I think I'm just being crazy. I get weird ideas. I don't know. Hopefully, she, we didn't have anything to do with our sister's death, because that would be pretty messed up. <gasps> she goes again. But I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when the she light. wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. Where's the light? Be careful <laughs> not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Oh my gosh, that was suck. Yeah, we gotta really be careful. Could we use the key? Oh, okay, so that wouldn't work for that. Okay, got it. Oh, can we? Oh, oh, figured. This is not the right key. Okay. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. Okay, so that's uh, gonna be on our to-do list. Um, we can't change. I actually like this one. I should have just chose that one. Um, I think we've covered everything. So let's go downstairs, I guess. There's nothing else in this room. We did it all. Wow, the attention to detail in this game. Okay, whatever that is, it's locked. But it is gorgeous. Look at that. How wonderful the snow That must is. be us. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. Not, not any scary pictures in this area, so that's pretty good. I wonder if we need to use these numbers eventually. Huh, interesting. Because they're written so clearly. Dad loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. Why are they putting so much sadness and anger and fear in their photos? There's no shortage of paintings in our house. Mom is passionate about painting. Okay, so it's mom. Okay, we get it. She's the one shift to run. Cool. But she's the one that's decorating with depression. Uh, so. Ooh, I hope we get to go outside. I, I guess we will. We have the map, so that'd be cool to see. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? I wonder why that's locked. Maybe because I'm dead and they don't want me to go in there? Or anybody to go in there, rather? What the heck? Mummy's family coat of arms. Wow. What is that noise? Martha's breakfast is uh. ready. We can go. <laughs> yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? 
And that camera, are you leaving it there? Yes, Irene. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I Aww. will take it away soon. I, I promise. Oh, it was for so us. It makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. This woman, she's so bossy. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Okay, see objectives. If you heard that, that was a freaking car driving by because they have no manners. <laughs> um, but anything, oh. During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Okay, let's see. Let's see what our objectives are. They keep telling... Okay, so we have to read the newspaper. It might be in the table. Um, oh, yeah, the frame. And we need the camera. The camera, he, ha he said, was there. So that's cool. So what is this? Are these going to... Mummy's family coat of arms. Jeez, there's more? Uh, I forgot you can press shift to run. I'm walking all slowly. Wow, pictures of grapes, which is completely different from last, from the ones we've seen upstairs, the photos. Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I will have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. Let's read the paper. Are we going to, like, actually read it? Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Hmm. Martha was not killed by politics or war. Right. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Why do they keep saying that? Firm bulwark, even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Julia K. More. Distressed but supported by faith. Erene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30 p.m., departing from the property of the deceased. They pronounced um, Irene. Well, I say Irene. I think she said Irene. I don't know. That was nice. That's a nice First way to say that name. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A hey, that's my birthday. Every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. I think we read it all. So we actually read the paper. Nice. I wonder if she's like, oh, now I gotta do this every day. Chocolate. A privilege for few people in these Chocolate. times. Chocolate. I say I, I cannot do that accent. Oh, this is dad's gift to us. For Julia. To take Aww. more and more photos. Dad. Well, we got our shirt on, so dad, can you take a hint? I got the camera, I got the shirt. I <laughs> that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph okay. a sparrow. There are okay. so many of them out here. This way? <laughs> um, there might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. Okay. 
I will go out there in a minute. Ooh, there's rooms open. What is this? The kitchen. I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. Is there anything we can press here? Nope, but that's a nice kitchen though. Very nice. No, we can't go out there. Dante's Inferno illustrated. Dante's Inferno? <laughs> Always hanging cheery things. I was gonna say that. You said it's your mom, like, or our mom. Like, what is wrong with her? Clearly, something's going on in her head. Like, this is not what you would want in a family home. War. Always oh my. war. Even in paintings. And on your wall, too. This lady doesn't quit. One of Daddy's many photos. Who knows who these other people are? I wonder if she means like our dad takes photos too, or that's somebody probably in the family. These masks, I remember them vividly. I always tried to escape their gaze. Yeah, man, my aunt had that on her wall, and for, to me it was pretty creepy. This we is so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with oh, a wow. German general for a father, food is never scarce. And apparently not the mice either. <laughs> We've like traps thrown everywhere. Um, this must be the like the basement. Oh my god, where are we going? Should I I hope there's no cutscene because I think there was more to explore up there. Ooh. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of grey cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Hmm. Oh, I thought we can pick it up. Nope, we can't. Oh. These could be of use to me. She picked that up like it was going to be used as a weapon one day. <laughs> Mummy's sewing machine. She learned how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? For vet... For vetting? Hmm. I've never heard of that. I, I guess I wouldn't because it's 1944. This fabric is not new to me, yet I do not think I've ever seen it in the house. So she was working on it, whatever she was doing, because it's right there. There's some pieces there. Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta back up. Is this an interrogation room? Like, look at that. That looks very suspect. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the wine. <sighs> Come on, man. I thought Our something wine. was going on. Daddy is so proud of it. <laughs> or is it? Is something going on? Oh, that looks weird. I mean, this and this don't look right. Don't look right. Just saying. Oh, the dark. It's a dark room. Hey, I'm not ready to do anything. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Daddy had this device brought here last week. It's old, but still works. He has always loved everything technological. Wait, what is that? I don't know what... Before I can use the enlarger, I should take a photo. Oh, right, right, okay. Try taking a, fo a photo of a sparrow outside to test the camera properly. Okay, I don't think we can do anything here now because we 
don't have photos. Clearly, it's a dark room and we need photos. So we'll come back to this, I guess. That just looks so scary. Ooh, this looks weird too. This area. Oh, is that a tripod? Oh, okay. So I guess natural light to take a picture, like a These selfie. These workbenches <laughs> fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. Why wouldn't they just say that they made it? <laughs> I guess that's outside. What's back here? When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. Are we going to hide or something one day? Like, in this game? Maybe not. Okay, I guess we got to keep looking upstairs for stuff, so let's let's check it out. Oh yeah, we got to take a picture of the sparrow. But I think there were more rooms. Why am I stuck? I think there were more rooms um, to the left. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. Oh, it's just this. Okay, so we've been here before, but this is different. On the day of St. Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. Our Lady of Carmel, a company of the Falchium Regiment, Count Florence, Antarctica, July 15th, 1944. General Eric K. Oh, wow. As per our prior agreement, control. we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo. Carl wow. H. Creepy. Like, we're all around, we're like, we're in this war. Like, actually in it. Let's just see how our sister's doing. She doesn't care. She's She has no care in the world right now. Okay, so I think we go out. I don't think there was anything that way. Um, I feel like there were, actually, I can look at the map. I forgot about that. B and... Okay, so this area. Okay, got it. So let's get out of there and anything here? Just more food. Wow. I guess for the yard and everything. Oh, are these lemons? How cool! Can we pick one? No, we cannot. There's a thing again. Oh, the, I couldn't even, like, see. It's a sparrow, right? So I guess we just go to B. Click this. There we go. You're about to use Julia's camera. It's a 1940 roller cord with 120 millimeter film. You'll use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will progress the game's story. Oh, interesting. While holding the camera, an icon... Okay, that's what that is. Um, an icon will appear to indicate points of photographic interest. This icon will appear and become clearer the closer you are. Press E to see your camera and any fitted attachments. No camera skin unlocked. Okay, stop observing. Look for the subject you want to photograph and press the mouse button to continue or press Q to exit camera mode. Um, yeah, let's use the camera. You're about to take your first picture to simplify the sim simulation. The picture preview displays the settings as you change them on your camera. In real life, the viewfinder's image is controlled by the secondary lens and only responds to focus. Prepare your first picture. If you stand still, you'll be able to fine-tune the camera rotation, pitch, and height. Uh, open the advanced setting panel to make your picture unique. Um, okay, so... Okay, use the panels. Okay, wait. <laughs> I completely did not... Let's go back. I can't go back? 
All right, let's just mess around with this. So we're playing, playing with the exposure. This is kind of nice. That's a nice one. Focus. Can we just, can we get to the, <laughs> okay. You'll find all of the camera's add-ons in this area. So you'll be able to use different lenses, filters, films of various sensitivities and much more. Right now, however, you only have 100 ISO film. So press control to close the panel. Okay, good. Now we can go back to where we, where we were trying to go to. I was like, I'm not about to take pictures of this plant. Um, oh, subject framed in focus, properly exposed. So I guess we have to, let's do the height. Let's check that out. Okay. After closing the window, adjust the camera, press space to shoot. Got it. So let's put him right in the middle. Um, could we get, I think we should go up a little more. Let's try to go up. Okay. I'm trying to get him in like facing us, but oh yeah, great. I'm glad I didn't take that picture. I hope that was okay. Congratulations, you've taken your first photo. You can shoot as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember that only a few will be critical to the story's progress. Soon you'll be will learn how to develop the photos that you've taken. Okay. Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Uh, can we can it can we pray that it's okay? <laughs> because Daddy Look at her running. He became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now ah. the camera is gone. Only this camera can fix Got my it. ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. So our dad took pictures. Okay, he took photos. That that explains the the obsession and the hobby and everything. So we're going back down to, I just hope that picture's okay. Cause like, I don't know, like that bird was just moving. Yay. Now we get to do it. Nice. Got the paper. To develop a photo, you'll first have to use the enlarger. The enlarger is an optical instrument that allows you to process photographic paper. After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. This aspect has been omitted for the sake of simplicity, but in reality, the steps are as follows. That's cool that they give you the steps. The film is firstly rolled on a reel and put inside a small tank. That tank is then immersed in the developer, washed, and then immersed in a stop bath. It is then washed again, dried, and finally cut. You'll find your rolls of film already developed and ready for printing. Choose the image, ooh, nice song. Choose the image you wanna to print to paper. The preview on the left side will help you choose. Of course, you'll see your images in negative. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, well, this is the only photo we have, so. The enlarger allows you to customize your photos even more. You can choose on which part of the paper the picture will be printed. You can adjust the focus and choose how long to expose the photographic paper. With the red filter, you can project and see the image on paper without exposing it. Use the controls to move the paper on the bench and to adjust the magnification and focus. When the three circles are aligned, the picture is focused. Okay. If you st still see the image out of focus when aligned, you probably shot it that way. <laughs> They're like, quick to blame you. It ain't us, it's you, babe. Okay. Play with the adjustment until you're happy. When you're ready, press space to continue. Okay. Let's see. Let's, let's do the enlargement first. Oh yeah, because the paper gonna make that like that big oh or we can just enlarge it let's could we do that um let's adjust the focus okay it's in focus um card is out of position but i thought they said i can enlarge it let's see um I guess that's okay. Uh let's do it. Let's go for it. Oh, it's not focused. Wait. So every time I move it up, oh my gosh.
Okay, that's perfect. Let's see. Let's just make it a little more in the middle. Got it. When the red filter is removed, the image is exposed into the paper. This process has been automated and made faster than what happens in real life. Got it. Oh, that's a nice shot. I was trying not to get the, the bottom part and just focus on the bird itself, but it wouldn't let me, so... Immerse the paper in the developer and the image will appear. To achieve ideal exposure, take the paper. This is pretty cool. Out of the developer when the timer is in the green zone. Okay, I see it. If you take the paper out too early or too late, the picture will be ruined and you'll have to do it again. So you have to print it again. Let's do it. I almost want to like see what happens when, <laughs> when you mess it up. But let's just... Get it right. In real life, immersion in the developer is followed by a wash, a stop bath, and then a second wash. These additional baths have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. Here's your printed photo. How did it come out? You can keep it in your album or scrap Not it. You can print photograph. each shot as many it times as you like. The camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. That's a crappy photo of the bird. <laughs> He's not even looking, but it's okay. He's eating or picking or whatever. Okay, let's just throw it in the album. It doesn't even look like a bird, but we're, we're cool. So I guess I we have to go take a picture, right? Oh, by the tripod. Okay. Can I get it? Get, yeah, please. Please, come on, Julia. We're going to run over to here. Ah. Well, we're all, we're wearing our clothes, so we're actually taking a picture for Martha. Camera is set up with the self timer. Not as Martha. <laughs> okay, let's sit down. Let's do it. Smiling, sulky, neutral. Do sulky. <laughs> I would have did neutral, but let's just do sulky. Because the I saw pictures of them on the wall and they were all pretty neutral. And I didn't see them smiling. I should have did that too. Picture of her smiling. Of us smiling. Now we're going to run back to the dark room. This is suspicious. Like that whole thing. Something goes on in this basement when we're sleeping. <laughs> Yay! Let's do it. It's always it comes a out thrill nice. to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's Martha why they has lost her dead. soul. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. Or they'll think I'm crazy? Huh. Okay, I think that's good enough, right? I mean, I mean, it's perfect. Let's do it. <clears throat> I just realized I didn't get all of her shirt, but whatevs. Okay, then we have to stop the immersion. Oh, I look angry. <laughs> yeah, babes. Maybe that's... Well, yes, that's okay. this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Hmm. <laughs> well, I, I, I like, was obsessively I... thinking about okay. Martha and what had happened. Okay. But suddenly, a thought took control. 
The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, oh no. after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Hmm. Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always Oh boy, her, that's what I thought. I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Wow. Maybe I should have put a smiling of face in that picture. <laughs> I feel guilty now. Hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. Uh oh. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I yeah. Know, okay. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. So I guess they think it's maybe political too as well. So that's why they don't want to, you know, they keep everything locked. But yeah, that picture, like, I didn't think she looked that angry because I thought Sulky, like, was just, you know, not that cheerful. But she looks pissed. She looks peed off. This lighter can be accessed from Julia's bag when not in use. Okay, I got it. Um, so, what? <laughs> Let's see our objectives in a second, but what's this? I think she wrote in her diary. Are we really going to read it right now? July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. <sighs> Yet another memory lapse. That mm. lifeless body was Martha's, my sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake and now it's too late. If they find out I have been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be deaf. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now, and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone, and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. The partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend, and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. Okay, this music has to stop. Ooh, I'm so scared. Turn the... Let's get that on. Yeah, please. Please. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, yeah. Maybe we should have smiled in that photo because it was for our sister. Now I feel guilty. Okay, now we're going to go upstairs. We have to go to our dad's room, right? Or something like that. What are the objectives again? I forgot. It's dark and I can't turn on the lights. It's dangerous. I'll need a flash for the camera. I can look for it amongst daddy's things in the room below his bedroom. In the room below his bedroom. Um. Where is his bedroom? Oh, is this it? Oh, that must be it. Because, yeah, this must be it. Ah. Why are you so loud with those? Daddy stuff. War maps. I've heard everything will play out on this new defensive line. Hmm. Let's turn on the radio and wake everybody up. Here's oh, that's it. Okay. Now I can photograph Martha even in the dark. We're trying to photograph our dead sister. Okay. You you go do that. <laughs> can we go up here? What's this? I just want to see. Oh my god, that's them. 
Could I walk by? Oh my god, this is not right. I guess we can't really... I shouldn't risk it really, but I love watching them sleep. It's the only time they're together and not fighting. I thought that was a freaking TV. I was like, how is that possible? 1944 flat screen TV. All right. Um, does she have a picture of Martha by her bedside and not me? Mm, we got to talk, lady. Oh, he has a gun there. Wow. Do they not hear the loud noise I'm making? Okay, we're going to try to go down here quietly. Imagine I go down. She's like, Martha! Okay, quietly. Or not. Okay, now I think we can use the light. Perfect. That was weird, watching them sleep. Okay. Okay, so let's see if we could... Um, I guess we're supposed to photograph our sister. Who are we going to call now? So let's... Oh, oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, but could we use the keys? Nope. No, we cannot. Okay. Let's check out the map. Oh, so we're supposed to go... The camera's at the lake. The camera's at the lake. Okay, so we have to go there. We're probably going to have to take that bike. So I'm thinking... Whoa, look at all that. That's crazy. But I'm thinking we, we're going to go downstairs where we were before. So let's turn that on. <clears throat> okay. Oh, but the bike was outside the other way. The camera can be used in very dark lighting by attaching the flash. Got it. Oh, we're going out the slate. Can we close the door? <laughs> nope, just leave it wide open. No problem. Leave it open. Make it obvious. Uh, let's see. Are we going the right way? Wow. How are we going to... There are no... Where are the bikes? <laughs> Maybe we can go around. Because that's a far walk, don't you think? Like, is there a way we can go around? Oh, no, but there's a gate. Maybe... We can't get past through the, like, that gate. Did I just fail here? I just need the bike! So we're going to have to do this all on foot. Which is pretty crazy. Oh, is this a chapel? Ooh, we can't go in there. Okay, so we're <laughs> way off course here. Okay, we're running. We're running. We're doing it. How are we going to get all the way over there? Oh, okay. That's just to place it down. Um... So that's the thing, I guess, that we have to endure. We have to literally walk all the way to where we need to, which is absolutely crazy. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't see why we can't get those bikes, but it is what it is. I guess we go this way. 
we go down here. I wonder if we could have checked this out during the daytime and maybe she would have like t spoke about the area or something. What's up here? Let's just see. I was afraid of animals when I was little. I never approached them alone. I guess that's where they keep their animals. But they're not in there right now, so we're going to keep going the way we need to go to find out what the heck happened to our sister. I just, I hope nothing points to us because... Just have a weird feeling about all this. And she's ha like having blackouts too on top of it all? No. Doesn't sound right. Uh oh, what are we saving? No! Why the music change? Like I love the night, but this night scares me. It's <laughs> dark. Me I too! I feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I hurt Martha. The closer I get to the lake, the more certain I am of this. How could it not be? I killed oh no. her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. How could I have done such a thing? Wait, what? There's no way. What the? Did you see that? Oh no. Oh. What? Stop. Oh my god, stop. I don't like things like that. Ugh, okay. Do I have the flash attached to this? Um, yeah, let's use the camera. Um, don't we have to, like... I'm, like, fr I can't even concentrate. It's so scary. The subject is framed. Let's see. Control. More exposure on that. Let's see. In focus. How do you... Oh, the flash. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So... There we Wait, is it still too dark? Nice. Much better. Um... Let's see. We're ready. Let's do it. You're about to take a photo where an important feature of the story hasn't been correctly framed. You may continue. Okay, now let's let's try to frame it right. Um, okay, let's do the height. Uh, e. It's not letting me do anything, which is crazy. Nope. What are we doing wrong? Okay, I guess that's how it goes. German nice. soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. That's very weird. And we're getting very close. It was, wasn't was a far walk as I thought it would be. Is this like the woods that we're running to in our nightmares? Running through in our nightmares?
It is endless. <laughs> I mean... Are there two paths? Let's go this way. I think that takes us back, so let's try this way. This is a dead end. Okay, we're going backwards. Okay, so... lost <laughs> like in real life so I think this has to be the way yep oh no Damn. oh no Luckily I get out of here with me Oh! <sighs> the lamp worked. Was she telling me to go this way? What's down there? The cameras are somewhere around here. Oh, I see it. Okay. Stop it. A shred of fabric here in the woods. Is that the fabric or no? Let's take a photo of the two cameras left. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> Out of focus, let's get this. Okay, I think it's okay. Everything is framed properly. Let's do it like this. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Uh, okay, flash. Let's do it. How could it have ended up here? It looks familiar, isn't it? The well, the fabric over in the house looked different. It was kind of checkered. That doesn't look checkered. So we got that camera. Uh, where are the other ones? Okay, straight across, so. This is unsettling the music. Is this where we found we jumped? Okay, so it's coming up. Oh, I think this is where we were originally in the beginning of the game. Yep. These films are going to help me understand what happened. Now I should rush home to develop them. And we get home how? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna just drive around. Just drive around. Cruise around until we just like find our home ourselves. Or we get lost and killed. And we're stuck, okay. Is this taking eh, it's taking us back, I mean Julia oh. Julia <laughs> Oh <laughs> I 
Are we really running right now? No! Uh, this way. Oh no, we're like... What the heck? Where are we going? Where the heck are we going? What the? Are we in a cave? What the? What the heck is happening? Uh, can we go back? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> Only one way to move and it's forward. Wow, look at that. What is behind this door? We're obviously, we blacked out or something. Wait, what? Oh no. Are we gonna open it? <gasps> what the hell? Oh. Jeez. What? Oh. Wow, that's like detailed and disturbing. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. We have to do something? Like... Oh, I thought we had to move. Like, are we... I have no idea what's happening right now. That... This is crazy. <gasps> what? Wow, I wonder if that was censored too. It ha had to have been. But wait, you saw like a baby there too. That that's crazy. Am I gonna get a strike for putting this game <laughs> on YouTube? Like oh, another she one. My dreams once more. Maybe she wants to talk to me. Or what am I saying? Fairy tales coming true. Yet I feel no, no. These are the thoughts of a crazy person, and I'm not crazy. What the heck? <gasps> oh, damn it, what's all this blood? I'm not due yet and there's a lot more than usual. What's happening to me? Am I going to be joining Martha sooner than I thought? I have to Is she having a miscarriage? If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. It must be hidden within those rolls. Oh my gosh. The woods. Wow. So, yeah. I think I'm going to end it here. <laughs> but if you guys really like the game, let me know what you think. I'm going to continue this, whether you guys like it or not. I don't see how you can dislike it. It's a little freaky. It can be disturbing and it's triggering. And to me, it's, it's great so far. Um, a lot of deep stories have deep meanings. So I'm hoping that we get to discover that in this game. But guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So far, so good. We can see what's going on with this situation and see what's going on with this situation. <laughs>
Why did she put it upside down? And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm a small channel. So if you would like to give me some credit and give me some love, please subscribe. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you in the next video with this and I'll have this up soon. I promise. Thanks, guys. Bye.